guys welcome to the cobra's den and today we are getting back to the auction work so i need to have a chat with everyone about the auction and where the changes are going to come i'm going to do that in a live um one of these days maybe tonight uh, and hopefully you'll see this one today um so i'll go on a live we'll have a good chat talk about the change of dates change of certain rules shall we say for the auction uh, as it is growing um, but today we're going to do a massive massive unboxing let me show you have a look at that we have one two three four quite big size boxes and then a few smaller ones here now sort of taking them out of their, uh, their outer packaging opened up some slightly so it's a bit easier um, and I might split it into two videos only because this would be one long video otherwise. So let's get these out of the way and open them one by one. Okay, so here we go. We've cleaned it up a bit and now I've got space to work and have a look. So we'll start with this package here. Let's open her up. I don't know why I said open her up. I mean, it's not like a female package, but there you go. Okay. And we start with the beautiful Art Nouveau piece, which if some of you guys remember, we've seen this before with Backyard Bullion. Uh, and I then picked up exactly the same piece when I saw it on his video. I think it is absolutely stunning. Uh, let me take it out of this main package. And here we go. It's a beautiful piece. It's 10 ounce fine silver, three nines, and um, absolutely stunning. I think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Art Nouveau uh, female. And on the back there, you have the hologram sticker uh, from the Argentina Precious Metals. And it says 10 ounce fine silver. So that's the first one to go into the auction. These all have to be tested now. Um, to make sure that they are proper silver and everything's cool. So a lot of work to be done. Okay, and the next piece is this beautiful two ounce silver Tutankhamun from the same people that made the Art Nouveau woman. Now I'm gonna speed this up because there's so much to get through. Uh, and if there's any really nice pieces, what I'll do is I'll do a separate video about them. Next, a five ounce piece uh, from the Virtue series. And this is Victory Through Harmony. Stunning. Absolutely love that. There you go. And we have a 10 ounce reserve bar. Scottsdale Silver, the American Standard. 10 ounces of fine silver. And I love the back of this. Absolutely beautiful. I don't see these come up very often. In fact, I'm not sure if that may be the first one I've seen. And another American Reserve Bar. Again, 10 ounces. And I love this piece. And when I spin it around, you're going to see why. There you go. Look at that eagle. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, and that is minted, uh, minted and made in America but a stunning 10 ounce bar and the next one another 10 ounce bar with a buffalo or bison <laughs> uh, going back to some of our creators had a little discussion about that and uh, this is a mint ID uh, 10 ounce bar which means on the back you have something you can scan now I'm gonna have to do that later and have a look at what happens with that and again I may do a video on that so another 10 ounce bar. And this one is for my collection. And it is the two ounce uh, gilded anonymous mask. Now, some of you may have seen my previous video on these masks. Uh, I've been collecting these and I have the gilded for the other two. And I bought these from Panda Six Pack uh, on the silver forum. And uh, this one didn't come, but it has now. And it comes with the display box but as I say I'll do a video on that at some other point okay and next we have a whole tube of 2021 dragons now 
This is the dragon that I found the absolute hardest to get. Um, I was having real problems. And um, I've managed to get a whole tube. So I'm not paying like, I was paying about £45 a dragon, uh, which was an absolute nightmare. So the 2021 Dragon Bars. And that means I can make some complete sets up now for the auction. Okay, and next we have 11 boxes of these Canadian half ounce silver coins. Uh, I'll open this one up very quickly. And they're all different. So this one is the Canadian Mounted Police. Comes in a box like that. And as you open it up, it has a certificate of authenticity and a beautiful coin there. Let me take that out. <clears throat> There you go. Canadian Mounted Police. Now, these are all 2013 coins. Um, and on the back, as CPM and Stephen would say, there's our boss, the boss. Um, and so that is another one. And I believe these all have a limited mintage of <clears throat> 40,000. But we'll have a look at those properly at a later date. Uh, I'll open up one more just to show you they are all different. So here we go. There's another box. COA there. And I'm not sure what that is there. Hang on. It might be a certain mountain or something. Let me have a quick look and see if I can find out. Uh, oh, it's Niagara Falls. There you go. Uh, so really, really nice coins there. But there are 11 of them. Okay, and next we have two of these beautiful American Eagle. One ounce proof silver bullion coins. So they come lovely boxed up. Lovely boxed up. Don't even make sense, but there you go. And on the box, we have a beautiful eagle there. And I'm sorry I'm rushing a bit, but as I say, there's so much to get through. Uh, certificate of Authenticity. And as you open up the box, um, an absolutely stunning American Silver Eagle proof. Let me pull that out real quick. And there will be two of these in the auction. But when I say, like, clean, real clean. Look at that. In God We Trust, 2006. Spin it round. And you have the obverse. Have I got that right? Obverse, reverse. There you go. So two of those going into the auction. And here we have a 2014 $1 fine silver proof high relief coin from the Australian Mint. Somewhere it will say that. There we go. Uh, Australian Government, Royal Australian Mint. Let's open it up. We have a COA, number 442 out of 10,000, I believe. And let's have a look at the coin real quick. So this is a one ounce high relief kangaroo coin. And it is actually beautiful. Um, thicker, so smaller in diameter. But... Uh, yeah, really nice piece, actually. And the boss on the back. So there you go. That's the next one. 2014, high relief, $1 Australian Mint. Okay, we have an amazing set here for the auction. Uh, and I probably will do another video on this, but I'll give you a brief look now. This is the Queen Elizabeth II 40th Anniversary Coronation Crown Collection. And, uh, I mean, it's in an absolutely beautiful wooden box. And as we open it up, a stunning, stunning collection. So here we have a, certi a certificate of authenticity. 1,331 is the certificate number. And um, then a complete beautiful book in mint condition 
Uh, you know, they had that old tracing paper back in the day um, of the Queen with a load of stuff in it. The whole family tree, I believe, there. Oh, I really don't want to muck this up, so let me be very careful. Right, I'm not going to open that up. Uh, but I believe it's the whole family tree. Uh, some beautiful photos. So that's that booklet there. And then the COA. There you go. I don't know if you can see that properly, but. Um, and as we open this one up, has all the mintage figures of all the coins um, and an explanation on each of the coins. And then this is the first tray. And they are in absolute mint condition. These are beautiful. Uh, so these are all crowns. Stat Collector, if you've never watched his channel, he's the expert on this type of stuff. So I'll give him a little ring and uh, see what he thinks. But uh, I will do a, another video on this. But for the moment, as time is short and there's still so much to see, we'll just put this away for the moment. Okay, we're going to move swiftly through these. So here we have an African ounce, uh, and it looks like meerkats on there. And this one, another one from the same sort of series. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Weird little thing. Uh, but there you go, another ounce. Uh, all have the map of Africa up there, and then some creatures down the bottom. They look like something nocturnal. That's all I know. Okay, next one we have. What is it? Don't even know. Big horns, antelope maybe. Something like that. These are all one ounce silver. All will be tested for the auction. Um, next one. Looks like uh, bison. Or buffalo. Could be buffalo. Could be bison. Stack collector, 365. Let me know. <clears throat> so this is all from one series. Uh, and they're all one ounce. So, not a pelican. What's that, a toucan? I don't know. Different animals, all one ounce. So that's a, a nice pickup. These will all go in the auction. Oh, that's a repeat there. So I've got two of them. Uh... Zebra, by the looks of it. Or what are those ones which... Oh, no, it's not a zebra. Oh, what are they called? Right, someone down below, let me know. Uh, so this is 2021. It looks like there is a date run on this. So there was a 2016 before. If that is the case, then uh, Mrs. Cobra Sack is not getting the thing. Uh, cheetahs or leopards. That is 2015, by the looks of it. So, yeah, loads of these. Look at this. Hippo. Big old hippo. 2017. So, yeah, it looks like there's a date run of these, um, which is really nice. Oh, look, we have got, hey, an extra lot of giraffes, 2018. Mrs. Cobra Stack is back on for a giraffe. Here's a lovely piece. Uh, one ounce of uh, pure silver in a wooden sort of frame, Canadian uh, piece. And as you open up the wooden frame, there we go. It's a centennial coin uh, from 1889 to 1989. And on the other side, it looks like either Mount, uh, what is it? Strathhood Centennial. There you go. Anyway, but yeah, that's a nice piece um, in a beautiful little box. And again, as I say, don't forget, everything here will be tested to make sure it is proper silver um, or gold for the auction. Okay. Let's see what's next. Okay, really sorry, guys. I've got someone mowing a lawn or something out there. So I've been holding off trying to let him finish. But uh, yeah, he's going on. So I'm going to have to carry on. Okay, next we have... These beautiful buffalo rounds, but in mint condition, like really, really nice. 
uh, in capsules. And I believe I have about 10 of them. So they'll probably go as add-ons um, in the auction. And if you haven't seen the auction before, an add-on means that if you win something in the auction, you can basically just buy one of these as an add-on. And then we also have these beautiful, uh, I don't know, it looks like a sort of griffin to me. Um, these are all one ounce silver. Absolutely stunning piece that, really, really like it. Uh, and yep, another, I don't know, eight or nine of them. So again, add-ons. Now, have a look at these. Five ounce silver bars. Golden State Mint, fine silver, five troy ounce. And on the back, you could get someone's name engraved in there. Um, so there you go. There's a couple of them. We have some kangaroos just come in. One dollar, one ounce, fine silver. Uh, and the boss on the back. So that's one. This one I like a bit better. Um, I like the shininess on the kangaroo. Uh, but yeah, all different. And then we do have another one of these, which looks like that same proof high relief one that we had boxed. But this one is not in a box. Uh, but one ounce, thicker, smaller diameter, uh, but stunning. Sorry, I'm rushing through these again because as I say, it's just uh, so much to get through. And this video will go on for God knows how long. Um, okay, looks like a Canadian maple, maybe something different, correct me if I'm wrong. 2013, but multiple leaves on there by the looks of it. Um, so that's that one. Now this one, I believe, is a little bit special. This is the Canadian 2017, 150 years anniversary. Um, so, yeah. Lovely little coin there. As I say, I'll look up more of these and I'll uh, have better details on the day of the auction. Uh, another 2015, uh, by the looks of it, maple. Now, these, I believe, are sterling silver. And again, they will be checked. But it was a nice little set and I thought it was worth getting. Um, $50, a Lancaster. And there we have um, a Mosquito. So these are all warplanes. And they're in really, really nice condition. Uh, here we have the Hurricane. And last but not least, of course, the Spitfire. So uh, a lovely set of coins. Um, and on the uh, reverse or obverse or whichever way, You've got a whole load of information there. So that's a set of four and will be sold as a set of four. Uh, usual, these are probably going to be add-ons anyway. Um, a bit of the old Robin Hood. So there's three of them in capsules. They'll probably go as add-ons. Um, what else? Now this. This is 11 coins but these are slightly different. Now, there's a lot of us who love the kookaburras. Well, look at these. Two ounce kookaburras in capsules. And as I say, again, I'm going to rush through this because um, I'm going to do a big video on kookaburras because I've nearly completed my whole collection of the date run. But these are two ounce cooks in immaculate condition in this beautiful case. They all come in these cases. And I only started seeing these cases uh, when I started getting the cooks. But here we go. A lovely collection of 11 of the kookaburras in two ounce. So I think this might be a hot little number. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't know whether to do it in one bid. Uh, one sort of thing of the whole set of 11. Or split them up and let them bid separately. I don't know. Might be better to do the whole 11. I think it would be better for one person to be able to get hold of all 11. But you let me know what you think uh, and we'll do it whatever way would make people happy, I suppose. So that is 
11 two ounce kookaburras. And again, I didn't even know they did two ounces until I got hold of these. But we'll whack them up there. Look at that, lovely. Now this coin, I absolutely love. This is the Lynx. And you look at them eyes, they follow you about. Uh, they're like jewels, two little jewels in there. And it's spectacular. I absolutely love this coin. That's the Lynx. And that will be in there. So, yeah, get ready for that one. Uh, I have got two of these. I may keep one myself. I'm not sure yet. We shall see. Uh, okay, moving on. Uh, being that I am Cobra Stacker, these came up and I thought I'll grab them. Year of the Snake uh, from Series 2 of the Perth Mint um, Lunar Series. And I have five of them. Again, these will probably go as add-ons. So, yeah, great little bit there. There will be also a complete Series 2 Lunar set going up. So that is going to be magnificent. Now, a little bit of gold, a little bit of gold. What do we got? Uh, Sovereign, 2022 Sovereign. It could be the, uh, it won't be the Memorial, I don't think. But yeah, there we go. One Sovereign there. And then we have a Britannia, 10th. I believe it's a 10th. I may be wrong. Yeah, 10th. 10th for Tanya. And another one there. So we have two tenths. In fact, I think, just to make it easier, another two. So that is four tenths. Britannia's will be going into the auction. Uh, and here we go with a quarter line of England Tudor Beast. Lovely, that'll be going in. And I believe there's another one. Uh, this one, Yale of Beaufort, quarter ounce uh, Tudor Beast. And these are gonna start at very, very nice prices. Now look at this, we have a whole tube here. And what is it? And these are going to be add-ons. And so you will get these at a lovely price. And they are crystal mint. Beautiful. Uh, Mickey Mouse. Uh, Mickey Mouse by the wheel of his boat. Uh, there you go. So there is a whole tube of them going in as add-ons. I'll whack the tube up there. And the finale the grand finale have a look at that that is a graded ms69 antiqued four horsemen of the apocalypse one ounce silver white horse of conquest um but i'm not kidding that is absolutely gorgeous i really really like that that's going to go up there um White Horse of Conquest uh, from the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Stunning, stunning, stunning coin. Um, so, yeah, that is the pickups today. There is more coming, and I mean a lot more. So, there you go, guys. That's what's come through the post today for me. Um, some really nice stuff there. A lot more coming. Now, just to remind you, the next auction will be on Friday, the 3rd of November. So I know Stack Collector and CPM have been letting you know bits and pieces. I'm sorry I've been uh, a bit distant this week. I had so much to do after the last auction. Uh, so much packaging and, and sending out and all that lot and ordering more stuff. So 3rd of November, Friday, the 3rd of November, and we shall start at around 730 we're not going to go for seven hours this time. No way. Uh, we're going to try and keep it to four hours. See how we go. But there is a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Um, so that's that. I'm going to do a live um, later this week or tonight. If you're watching this now. Which is not tonight. I won't say tonight. <laughs> I'm going to do a live. 
where we're going to discuss a few things. My memberships are now open on my channel um, and I would appreciate anyone who wants to join up. I am going to have a memberships joining thing if you want to bid in the auction. So anyone can come to the auction, have a laugh, join in the chat. Um, that's great, no problem. But just for a bit of security for me, the memberships on my channel are two ninety nine, and you will have to be a member, which will put a little sign by your name to bid in the auction. So we don't just get trolls coming on and deciding they're going to bid, and then afterwards there's no contact and people have lost out on the chance of getting the coins and me moving the coins. So if you want to bid in the next auction, you'll have to join the membership two ninety nine. But this is not a thing about me getting money. So remember, first of all, YouTube take a bit of that. They take a percentage. I'm not sure. I believe it's 30%, but don't quote me on that. But apart from that, for every 10 members I get, I will give away a one ounce silver coin at the auction. So if I have 30 members, 30 people are in their bidding, I will give away three one ounce silver coins. So that's me just trying to show you. It's not because I want your money, your $2.99 a month. It's just to give us a bit of security in the auctions. But anyway, I'm going to go through all of that in the live um, later this week or later on today. Guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this. I'm sorry it was a bit rushed, but as you can see, the video has lasted. I don't know how long because I haven't edited it yet. But um, if you liked it, like, share and subscribe. Guys, thank you very much. This is the Cobra Stacker signing out of the Cobra's Den. Thank <laughs> you.